This is a 12 inch Marsu or San SSN 571 Nautilus battery powered submarine. Their model number 3410. In my research, I found that this is the first battery operated Nautilus on the market. This is their tribute to the Nautilus SSN. SS is designation for submarine and is nuclear. This being the first nuclear power submarine in the world. The Nautilus, of course, named after Jules Verne's 20,000 Phantoms Under the Sea. Leagues, sorry, leagues. Um, anyways, as you can see, this is the original box. There are the original directions on the side. And this is a very rare item. This is a submarine that actually gets submersed in the water. 90% of the time, the people put the submarine back in the box. And the box rotted with the submarine and ended up in the garbage. Extremely rare to find one in a box. And this one even has the original inserts. As you can see, I've added the styrofoam. But there's the submarine. This is 100% original and fully operational. The rudder in the back does move. It goes down, it's a 12 inch one. It does have these dual periscopes here which are strictly cosmetic, they're useless, they do pull up. This particular one in the back is the on off switch, which we'll get to that in a minute. But as you can see, the boat is in beautiful shape. As far as I know, and I've had this forever, this has never been floated, it has never been put in a body of water. You can see the back. The only signs of a little wear and age is the front rudders here. Shows a little bit of cracking from the paint. Uh, it's, it, it is old. <laughs> In addition, back here you have a, the original plug which comes out so you can drain it. Again, it is designed to go into the water. And the front section here is where the battery goes. The cannon lifts out. You can see it's designed to hold the battery snug. Inside is a battery compartment. You can see the brass contacts are in beautiful shape. The front one, and these are original. And way in the back, you can see the, the one in the back. And it takes one size C battery, which I will install. And the funny thing is, in the directions, if you read them, it does say in order to reverse the direction of the submarine, simply reverse the battery. Hence the polarity changes. So it's an easy way to do it. But this is all original. The light even works. Now we'll put the battery in. Lock it down. Put the can in its place. Now in order to turn it on, again, you lift up this back periscope and you'll watch the front light will instantly go on. In addition, you can hear it and see the back propeller spinning. We'll stop it and start it again. And these rudders are designed where you can actually, they're very light, so you can design them to bend them so it will dive or come out. And the rudder in the back does steer it. So this is actually designed to go into the water and you can play with it in the water. You can dive it. Again, once you adjust the planes, you can get it to exactly where you like. And there it is. However, I wouldn't recommend it. It's a very old model. It's in beautiful shape. There is one slight issue, which I do want to show you point it out. There's a little eensy beensy ding right here. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. If you get a certain angle, you can just see it. But that is the only issue with this particular thing. It is really rare, as I said, to even find one of these that's not rusted out, let alone one that works, let alone one that works with the original box. And that's exactly what you have here. And again, I thank you for your time. Thank you for your interest and have a great day.